we hear quite often that the software that you get with a NAS unit is generally pretty clunky compared to the more polished cloud versions. Obviously, people are making more money from cloud subscriptions than selling NAS units. So we get this idea that something like Apple Photos is generally a much more integrated, polished experience. But ultimately, for me, it's also incredibly feature lacking. You know, the emission of pro level culling tools just so obviously omitted from the features there to keep your library growing full of thousands of, of you know, duplicate pictures and so on and not helping you actually delete that and get to the root cause of the problem and keep your library as small as possible. Um, so emission of things like that, but also emissions of things like raw processing and color grading using LUTs and, and sort of presets, powerful presets. So I wanted to bring all of that into my own photo library tool, which is what I did when I vibe coded my own photo library app. Um, but the way I did this in terms of building these apps was that I would build a web-based interface and run these things as like little web servers using Python just directly on my Mac. And that meant these bits of software were fully available on any machine on my local network and it's very trivial to get these available to machines outside of your local network as well you can use something like tail scale or you can use a vps with a reverse ssh tunnel um, and you can you can do this without exposing your ip address to anybody on the internet as well so of course this is what a nas does you know you'll have this machine running in your house that will have software running on it that will share your media and in in an app you know and you've got these different apps for different things but they're all kind of very specific to the particular nas units that you're buying into uh, and there's this idea that they're even even worse than the cloud versions of the, those applications. And for me, the cloud versions are already too limited for what I want. So there's really no argument for, from my perspective, drawing me into a dedicated NAS unit. And of course, it doesn't just stop with the software. You've got this hardware issue as well. Like you're buying an entirely new machine whose only role is to become this NAS.